just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graving Two, team, keep it clean, what's going on? Hey yo, Team Wonderkin, what is good? Hello, hello, hello! Yo! <laughs> oh, we done made it, man. We done made it. Oh. Back like we left something. Yeah, because we did leave something, the audio for the previous recording. <laughs> uh, so y'all gonna laugh for this bad. <laughs> yeah, and we, we, go, we gonna get started again in a little bit, but we literally sat here, recorded for 48 minutes. Yes. No audio. So no. we. So we had to run it back, but it's all good. But we're here live from Play Action Soul Food. Yes. Uh, here in Pompano. Uh, shout out to Lamar for, for allowing this to happen. Shout out to the whole staff here at Play Action Soul Food because they've been better than great. Um, and then the food has been better than great. Um, they just, every, everything been on point, man, from top to bottom. So we, we appreciate everybody involved with the whole process. And, but yeah. shout out to, to Nitro um, for, hey, he shot his shot. He said, hey, I want to record an episode in the restaurant. Lamar gave him the green light, and you're here now. So shout out to Nitro, man. Hey, hey listen, man. I'm loving it. We're here. We're going to get into sports. We're going to talk food. We're going to talk everything, all right? This is for the Raven flock. You feel me? And you know what I brought to this, too? <laughs> ah, the sounds, baby. So we're going to get this popping, all right? So, Ink. Okay. First question. What do you see the Ravens' ceiling really being for mm. this year and going forward after the signing of one named Lamar Jackson? Mm -hmm. um, just con continuity with elevation. Yeah. Um, the reason I use both of those words, obviously continuity, because they're keeping their quarterback. And, and that's the most important piece of this whole thing. And moving forward, everybody has a clear direction of what's going on with the quarterback. Because before, especially if he would have been on a franchise tag, uh, if he would have played this year on a franchise tag, which I never anticipated him doing, but if he would have, then there would have been like, oh man, what's gonna happen with Lamar? What could happen with Lamar? Exactly. Will he be all into it? Will his head be in the game? Da, 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 da. But now that the contract is, is done, it's a wrap. Nobody has to wonder about that. So now, with them, the Ravens have invested in Lamar in a couple of different ways now, yeah. which we appreciate. Great job, Ravens. Thank you. Shout out CDC. Uh, yeah. Hey. Um, but with the Ravens having invested in him now, um, they have an opportunity to take this thing to another level. Uh, Ravens have made several significant changes this offseason that can really make this a, a much better football team. They've done it with coaches. They've done it with personnel. Um, and, and they've done it with philosophy, really. So if they can keep on going in this direction, I, I could definitely see elevation for them uh, this season. Bro, I got big hopes for this season, bro. Mm -hmm. Big hopes. Let me say this, right? When we look at so far what the Ravens have been able to accomplish in the past, they've done it with a very rudimentary passing game. Mm -hmm. They've done it with a lack of offensive weapons, mm -hmm. right? And they've done it with literally working Lamar into the ground. Right? <laughs> so now you're giving Lamar options. Yeah. You're like, this is why I try to tell people you are capturing the creative mind of the fans. Because no longer are we watching that Lamar would have to be Superman, aka Clark Kent, <laughs> every Sunday. He can have days where he's just like, <laughs> time to pick y'all apart, baby. You get a ball, you get a mm -hmm. ball, <laughs> you get some balls too. Pause. With that, it's, it's nice because um, obviously Mark Andrews has established himself as yeah. one of the best tight ends in the game. And that's a wonderful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. But a, a lot of times with Ravens offense, it was like Mark Andrews or bust. Um, you would get some... You get some help from some other guys sometimes, but consistently it was always Mark Andrews yeah. usually doing his thing. Uh, and again, that's not a bad thing that he was doing his thing, but now you added an Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. Uh, you added Nelson Aguilar. You got Rashad Bateman coming back. You got Devin DuVernay coming back. You added an Odell Beckham Jr. So now with yeah. that, and you still you got J.K. Dobbins coming back, and he should be even better this year since he'll be healthy. You have Gus Edwards coming back, and he should be even better this year because he'll be healthy. You got Justice Hill. Like, you, you, 
now oh. you have options. You have even more options. And when you have more options, that makes life easier for everybody. Bro. It doesn't just have to be like, all right, we'll focus on Mark Andrews, take him out the game, he ain't got to worry about nothing no more. No, man, you, you, you got number three, you got number seven, you, you, you got so many different people. And then... You got the power ranges. Yeah, then after all of that, you got number eight that you got to worry about. Yes. So just in case he decide, you know what? I feel like taking off. You can take off. <laughs> He's going to ask the defense, have you eight yet? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, but for real, I, I, I totally agree with that, man. When you're looking, I was, I was actually talking about this in one of my previous videos, mm -hmm. you know, it also, it takes the burden off of the coaches. Mm. That's the part people aren't realizing. You have a new OC coming in, right? right? He's coming in and he's having it that he can have these guys there and use them, um, not, not force feeding one guy. They don't have oh. to call the best game. They they don't have to do the most work. They can just call um, some simple stuff, and then they can just spread the ball around. Instead of saying, I have to come up with a perfect play every single time, because mm. if they don't, it won't work. Oh. Why? Because they're leaning on Lamar. They're leaning on Mark. And they're saying, it's either you two or, oops, sorry. And guess what? I don't see in the foreseeable future of this OC not using JK if he's hot. Mm. Right? Okay, that's my point with this. It makes the coaching job easier to talent alleviate stress. And we all know that stress can make diamonds, but stress busts pipes. Pressure busts pipes. And with this stuff right now, we don't need any more uh, pipes busting in Baltimore. Mm. Yeah, that's a really, really good point. It, it reminds me of, I would think about like a teacher. Um, if, if a teacher, she has a lot of kids that are failing his or her class yeah um then that teacher could be looked at like a bad teacher even if that teacher had success at previous schools and whatnot but if she has a lot of students like getting a's and b's and stuff mm -hmm. then that teacher's gonna look much better and it's gonna make that teacher's job a lot easier um because she has so many talents and students uh and they can go on and do different things and, and then she'll get a lot of credit too uh and that's like what you were talking about with the coaching staff yeah um the more talented players they have it makes their job easier way easier so man. yeah i i like that and that's something that i've been on for for years now um just the ravens making not just lamar's job certainly lamar's job easier but just really making everybody's job easier um and they really like eric DaCosta this off season yeah he has stepped like way out of the box Way out with, with, with stuff that he would normally never do, he, he's doing it this year. Out of their comfort zone. Yeah, way, way out of the comfort zone. Way out of their comfort like, zone, man. Yeah, it ain't even close to it. Whatever their comfort zone was before, <laughs> they, they like, they <sighs> a, a distant land beyond that, man. So, um, and part of that was with the Odell Beckham Jr. signing. Because I remember when, when they signed uh, Nelson Aguilar. I'm like, all right, Nelson Aguilar, this straight. Um, <laughs> not not the best, not the worst, but oh. it can't be it. But yeah. I, I was expecting like, oh, but these are the Ravens, so Nelson Aguilar, they run the risk of him just being it, and then be like, all right, let, let's run it. Um, but I was hoping that it wouldn't be. And then, about what, the month later, I think, however long it was later, we hear talks about them being interested in Odell, we hear, oh, they want to yeah. sign Odell to a deal, we hear they offered Odell a deal, we yeah. hear all this stuff. Y'all know me. I was like, oh, that we done seen this before. <laughs> we it, viewed this video. It, it probably ain't going to happen. But but it did. Yeah, it went down. And it didn't only go down, but the Ravens, they made it to where there was going to be no competition uh, between them and other teams for Odell Beckham Jr. They literally they spent that bread on Odell. Yes. With the, like 15 mil guarantee. Like 15 mil guarantee? You're like, what? The Ravens? The Ravens yeah. gave that? <laughs> for one year yeah hey i'm like man, i remember seeing the terms of the deal and i'm thinking like what, who, what ravens are these can you imagine odell thinking he wasn't gonna get that and the ravens say hey yeah. we'll give you that 15 million dollars he's probably in there talking about some <laughs> <laughs> Yo. it, I'm, I'm like oh. man it, it, just, it just threw me off but i was thrown off in a good way though i was yeah. happy about it because Definitely. 
Hey, scared money don't make money, and you gotta you gotta spend money, man. Yeah, you got and it. And hopefully they will get that return on investment. But I like that they stepped out there and they went for it because normally that's not something that they would do. Normally they, they would play it safe. But with Odell Beckham Jr., it's not safe. And let me ask you, mm-hmm. the last time that that we saw Odell Beckham Jr., um, how, how, how did he look? Did he? Because a lot of people say when you talk about Odell Beckham Jr., they say, oh, he's washed. He ain't the same. He can't play no more. Uh, He's over the hill. How how did Odell look the last time that we saw him? Let me tell you how he looked. He looked like a Super Bowl champion to me. (laughs) Touchdowns. Listen, if it wasn't for the injury, he was going to get the Super Bowl MVP. That's what it was looking like. He was going to. He was cooking them. Cooking the Bengals. Mm -hmm. You ever had cap? Odell did. So when I look at them, I'm like, bro, if he could even get back to that. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't even. Remember, he was hurt. It yeah. came out that he was hurt that entire time, and they mm-hmm. knew it, but he was playing on it. If he gets back to even that, my God, it's a beautiful day. And mm-hmm. I will be there to laugh at every opponent as they get ramrodded and run through. Because what are they going to be able to do? No, no, seriously. What are they going to be able to do, Ing? If you, if, when you go into a, um, think about this real quick. Lamar Jackson's uh, a Lamar Jackson led offense is second, right? Since he's been in the league, only behind Patrick Mahomes. That's a Patrick Mahomes with probably the greatest t- receiving tight end this league has ever seen, with the one of the greatest offensive play callers this league has ever seen. That part. And a multiple time Super Bowl winning OC. Mm. So when you take all that into consideration and say, well, a Lamar led offense did all that, what he had, what is he gonna do? When now you can't double Mr. Andrews. Mm -hmm. And we all know how people like to play Lamar. They like to put somebody down in the box just in case he wants to go off script, right? Mm -hmm. Where's that safety going to be? You think they're going to leave Bateman one-on-one all game? You think they're going to leave OBJ one-on-one all game? You think they're going to leave Zay Flowers (laughs) all game by himself? Bro, I am going to enjoy the amount of blowouts. You want me to tell you something too, Ing? What? What a lot of people that are watching are taking advantage of. These Ravens, they've been listening to everything. You understand what listening means? That means paying attention. They've been hearing all of the doubts. They've been hearing all the hate. They've been hearing all this stuff. So what you're getting is you're getting an annoyed and frustrated Lamar, right? You're getting an annoyed, frustrated JK. You're getting an annoyed, frustrated Harbaugh. You're getting an annoyed, frustrated Mark Andrews. You're getting an annoyed, frustrated Bateman. And you're getting a a very, very spry Zay Flowers and a newly um, refreshed OBJ. Bro, it's going to be gangbusters. And they're not going to be blowing out teams regularly. Remember... Back in 2019, mm-hmm. when they were doing all what he was doing, he threw those 36 touchdowns, right? right? He was sitting out all those fourth quarters. Yeah, I yeah. did the math sure. on this thing. I did the math. 2.75 amount of time he missed that season. That's almost three games worth of time <laughs> that Lamar missed. That means he was sitting on the sideline chilling yeah. because they were blowing out the opposition. Now because y'all been kept talking, now because you pissed him off, he's going to try to blow y'all out. So now when he's up by 15 or 20, he's not going to sit on the sideline with his shades. <laughs> oh, no, that nice Lamar, the, the, the happy-go-lucky Lamar, you guys ruined that for yourselves. Mm-hmm. You're going to get pissed off Lamar, and he's going to blow y'all out with Mark Andrews, Bateman, and, the co- and company because they're going to want to get their numbers also because mm-hmm. some of those guys are trying to get their new contracts, yeah. like one name of Bateman. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and OBJ, even though he we're paying him, he's on a one-year deal. Mm-hmm. So he's technically auditioning for the next team, if not for us next season. Bro, That's true. I feel sorry for y'all. I really do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't feel sorry for nobody, man. Especially if the Ravens go off like they should, Ooh. like they got the potential to. I don't feel sorry for nobody. What do you man. think the ceiling is for games? Oh. It's, 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 it's 17 games oh. I know that there's, there's some hiccups here and there With health Like with health Health is the, if, the if biggest If health is thing. good What are you picking bro? I mean, bro I'm looking at you straight What are you picking in? If, he- if they healthy With that squad get, Give me another corner first Give me another corner Or maybe another two corners but <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me 15 and 2 Woo Give me 15 and 2. 15 and 2. We're healthy. Healthy, yeah. 15 and 2. Man. 15 and 2. 
Man, and that's like, coming from me. Y'all, y'all, y'all know, like, I, he nicer I, than me. I, I, I ain't with no, oh, yeah, Ravens, Ravens, Ravens. They're going to be perfect now. Y'all already know. So, yeah, give me 15 and 2 if they're healthy in another corner. Man. If they're healthy, if they're healthy and they get another corner, mm-hmm. this Raven team will threaten the perfect season. They'll have the opportunity to do it. Am I saying it's going to happen? Look at, look at, think about this thing. I want, I want to keep it in perspective. <laughs> I want to keep it. I know you people are going to come for me. Oh, Nitros mm-hmm. put in expectation on us. To those with the most, expectation is required. You understand where I'm coming from? This team is one of the best scoring teams, even with Greg Roman, even with the lack of weapons. And now you're going to have a Roquan that's a full offseason aggregated into the defensive program. You're going to have all these players. Marcus Williams is going to be healthy. Oh, all man. these players are going to be healthy. All of these players are going to be aggregated with the um, playbook. All these players, are. some of them are going to be playing for, guess what? Money. Because what came out today about a certain linebacker that didn't get a fifth-year option picked up? Oh, yeah, that's true. You see what I'm Speak saying? You. So he's playing. So he he's not going to just tackle you no more. He's going to try to blow your <laughs> face off. Bro, I th- bro, listen, I don't usually feel sorry for, for, for my opponents, but I really feel sorry for y'all. Because if y'all think that they're just going to say, oh, y'all waved the white flag and that's all, I'm telling you, Inc., this team, if they can remain healthy and focus, this team will be able to threaten a 17 perfect game season and a Super Bowl to put the, the, the cherry on top. Well, yeah, that's the most important thing. And I'm, I'm glad you said the word uh, focus just now because I think that's important. Yeah. Because um, they people can have all the motivation in the world that they want to. Yeah. Um, they can be as motivated as they can be. But if that motivation and that energy is not channeled the right way, then it, it, it's not going to mean anything. Uh, and you could be out of control. So it's important that um, how with how motivated the Ravens can be. Obviously, it starts with Lamar Jackson because he done heard everything already, continues to hear everything. Uh, and now with the contract, uh, even though it's behind them now, it's still going to be brought up. Uh, yeah. Any mispass, you know, somebody going to be, oh, you didn't deserve the contract. Any interception, hopefully there will be none. It'll be nice, a little perfect season, no interception. <laughs> but hey. any interception, oh. oh, he didn't deserve it. Any missed, oh, he didn't deserve Anything that he does, you, you know how it goes already. Because that's how it was last year. Anytime yeah. he messed up, people are like, oh, see, he doesn't deserve it. But anyway, he got it. So yeah. even if somebody feel like he don't deserve it, he got it. He got his bread. He can't even say nothing. But uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll say this, too. <clears throat> for the doubters, for the team. Because I've been hearing a lot of, you know, stuff coming about, you know, the front office and Lamar had to settle and take what was given and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you heard that, mm-hmm. right? What other option did the Ravens have? <laughs> hear me and hear me well when I say this. Have y'all seen the AFC? Mm. Have y'all? Hold up. I want y'all to really understand this. Right? For as vaunted and as good as everybody's saying that this defense can be, mm-hmm. do you think that that defense for four quarters can hold out against Patrick Mahomes? Chiefs. Josh Allen? Bills. Ooh. Justin Herbert? Chargers. Trevor Lawrence? Jaguars. Oh, Jaguars. Yeah, we played them this year, too. Yeah. Aaron, Ro- uh, 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 oh, Aaron Rodgers? The Jets. Yeah. Two attack on the Vola? Adam Dolphins. We played them next year, too. And they beat us last time, right? They sure did. Oh. Remember the six-touchdown game. The six-touchdown game, right? Mm-hmm. Deshaun, um, Deshaun Watson? Oh, the Browns. So we see them two times a year. Joe Burrow? And we see them two times a year. Last year, three. Yeah. Bro, like, <laughs> what are we doing here? There was yeah. no alternative. Hmm. When you have a player at that level, he gives you the best chance to win. To win. And that's even with a lack of absolute weapons right. that he could depend on mm. in crucial situations operative word crucial no. situations yeah mm. okay so that's what i'm saying i wanted to address that because i heard this so bad right. going through the flock of oh you know and then you heard Stephen a come on um espn didn't even say it. you know he was smart and you heard uh what's his name i hate bringing up his name mike florio what saying you know he wisely took it when you have to understand that listen uh uh, uh this was a negotiation right mm-hmm. it's a negotiation 
they're gonna there's gonna be highs, there's gonna be lows. You might you'll always shoot for the moon, right. but you shoot high enough that if you fall from the moon, exactly. you're still amongst the stars. That's right. how you do business. Mm -hmm. But this this trope that oh, they'd be fine without them, and Tyler Huntley would be able to live in Super Bowl. Hunga chung 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 chung. Yo, get out of here with that. That's lying. Mm. Like how like bro, be real. What do you think about it? Am I tripping? I, I like Tyler Huntley. He's cool, man. Cool I mean, and no and no and no hate to uh, no hate to Snoop. Right, right. And and he's from over this way too. Yeah. Um but he he's just a different quarterback than Lamar Jackson is. Um like you mentioned earlier, uh Lamar gives the Baltimore Ravens the best chance to win. Um he gives them their best like and there've been games too where I I think one of the two of the biggest ones that I remember uh where I just I was like no love the Ravens but they losing this game for sure. One of them was in 2019 against the Seahawks. Mm. I, I was for sure. I, I remember always saying, hey, the, the Ravens, they're going to lose this game by at least 10. I was obviously wrong. Uh, and the Ravens, maybe they even won by 10 or more. But Ravens won that game. I'm like, wow. And then it, the other game where I felt that way, I, I think it was the 2021 season. Yeah. It was 2021. I know what you're going to say. I know exactly what you're going to say. Against the Chiefs. Yes. I, I was for sure. Oh, yeah. Love, love my Ravens, man. Yep. Love them all, but we're losing this game. Chiefs, like Lamar said, they, they are kryptonite. They got us. Our team, a lot of our guys are hurt. Um, and I was like, yeah, we're going to lose this game. Nope. And I'm, I'm sure y'all could think of other games, too, where you might have felt like, oh, the Ravens going to lose. And whether the Ravens did lose or not, if the Ravens were right there in it. But um, with other quarterbacks, th those wins don't happen. The games like that don't happen. Exactly. Uh, so that's why with Lamar Jackson, it's just it was of the essence to make sure this thing got done and that they kept him. And, you know, I, I, I do really believe that it wasn't just the contract that kept him around, but it was a lot of the other significant moves the Ravens made this offseason and how they made them. That really kept him around. Um, there's a couple of things. Obviously, with the offensive coordinator, they they moved on from Greg Roman, and, and you know, with the Ravens, I felt like that should have happened a couple years ago. Yeah. But okay, it took them a little little extra time. There's sometimes they can be loyal to a fault. It happens, but they did it. They moved on from Greg Roman. They did the, the mutually parting the ways with Greg Roman. So all right, cool. Uh, yeah. But then uh, <laughs> they also moved on and again, whether this was because of the survey that was coming out or just coincident who knows but they moved on from Steve Saunders how you get an F minus hey <laughs> I knew they got a minus after an F you don't uh, listen I'm just listen yeah that, that's lower than lower can you imagine come over with an F minus so you're mm. a poor car <laughs> yeah, I, I, I probably I probably did before a couple of times oh, God. but um they moved on from Steve Saunders so yeah. that was big uh, bringing in Todd Munkin, um, that was big, um, but also personnel. And Nelson Aguilar, but bringing in Odell Beckham Jr. and the way they brought in Odell Beckham Jr. I think they, these were all things that really showed Lamar, like, hey, we, we're trying now. We're trying to do better. We're trying to really get this thing going for you. So we got your back. Um, we we really going to move in a different direction now. So it seems like the Ravens, their philosophy is, is headed in a different route, is taking a different route. Um, and again, this is something that a lot of us have been talking about for years, but the Ravens are now seeming to pivot. So let's hope that that continue. Oh, oh, and then another thing too, obviously this, ha this happened uh, after the contract, but when during the draft, um, we, which direction were the Ravens gonna go in? Uh, a lot of some people thinking receiver, a lot of people thinking corner, since they just signed Odell Beckham Jr. and da 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 da. And for them to still, despite Bateman coming back, despite signing Odell, despite signing Nelson Aguilar, despite Duvernay returning, despite all of that, and then of course some guys on the practice squad too, yep. they still took used their first round pick on Zay Flowers. Yup. They still did. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, especially with him being from Broward too. I mean, that that helps a lot too. Who does he remind you of? Before you go any further, who does he remind you of? No, a lot of people said Steve Smith Sr. Um, some people even say Hollywood Brown, but to me, I, I see Antonio Brown. He he remind me of A. B. a lot. Oh um, my God! If he turns into that, my God! I mean, oh. 
If he turns into any, any of the three, we'll Boom. be in good hands. But, oh yeah, um, it's over. He is uh he's explosive. Uh, he's out he's obviously a, a shorter receiver. He's like five nine, five ten, but he's he's lower to the ground. But he's still explosive. He can make plays. Um he is not afraid to be physical. Uh I remember when I watched film on him just watching the plays that didn't even go to him. Like a running play. He ain't afraid to run up to a cornerback and engage uh, engage with him and block Stick him. Stick him. So yeah, he just he he's not afraid. He does not play scared, anything like that. Um, and he gets after it. And, and again, the yak, him being an explosive player, you can never, ever, 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 ever have uh, enough of those. Never. You can never have too many of them. You can't. Um, and the thing with the Ravens, too, it's like they have different options in the receiving game because you got an Odell Beckham Jr. You got a Rashad Bateman who we really learned about last year in terms of this, and you got a Zay Flowers all who can stretch the field. And, and Devin DuVernay can too. But you got guys that can stretch the field. But they can also work the underneath stuff as well. So you, you got options because we've seen Bateman do it. You know Zay Flowers can do it. You know Odell Beckham Jr., he could do it too. So they, they have options of guys that can beat you in several different ways. And then on top of that, so it's like if, if you come out with two receivers, yeah, uh, you come out with three receivers, you you can't be like all right. Depending on what receiver the Ravens bring out here, yeah. Then uh, it's, it, if it's a passing play, it's only going to be a short pass because this guy he's only he only does a good short point. route and all that. Very good point. You 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 have Telegraphing, options, man. Yeah, you, and, and since you got options, that puts you in such a, in, in a much better spot. Yeah. So that, that's, that's going to be nice to see. Uh, you know what's crazy? I keep hearing everyone talk about Zay Flowers, and mm -hmm. I'm one of the people that were like, oh, you know, I, I really wanted um, Tank Dell. That was the guy I wanted. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you something right now. If Zay Flowers can even be half, half of what um, people are saying he can be, mm -hmm. it's going to be absolutely um, bombastic, to <laughs> say the least. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, who are you comparing him to? Steve Smith Sr.? Mm -hmm. A.B.? Mm -hmm. Bro, and when and listen, when you when you look at and you say that you see him in Hollywood, because you hear that comparison. Right. The only thing that that's similar between him and Hollywood is that they're both from down here and they're short and they're fast. That's it. That's where the that's that's where the similarities end. Yeah. Hollywood has rare, rare top end speed. Mm -hmm. Another gear that he could take to get on the top of any defense in the NFL. There is not a safety that Hollywood cannot threaten with simply him running directly at them. Mm. There is none. Okay? There is none. This guy, he's like scrap, bro. He's like, give me the ball. If it's if the ball's in the air, his mindset is it's mine. Mm. How dare you go for it? Like that's his mindset. And if he could bring that's almost like a Raven mentality in a receiver. We're used to having Raven mentality oh, in defense. linebackers. Mm. Um, corners, safeties, <laughs> shout outs to the goats. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Bro, but not on not on wide receiver. If he can translate that, my God. It's yeah. bro, I don't it's almost it's 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 like it's like a drug almost because you're sitting there like you want you want to think the most right now, right? But it's like you're trying to force yourself that you can't because you don't want to get lost in it. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it's almost like I'm I'm looking at it like bro. Oh, the ceiling, all oh, this. We're going to be able to do this. We're going to be able to do that. But if you keep thinking like that, it's like, oh, but we still got to pump the brakes because they still have to, they still have to perform. Yeah. They still true. have to perform. Yeah, they really do, man. But it's, uh, it is nice to think about it, though. It's nice to think about Very nice. uh, the possibilities of this, uh, this Ravens offense and really just the, the, the team as a whole. Um, because, and, and obviously, health is wealth. That is, uh, that's, the big, the real deal right there. Um, health is wealth, uh, and so is cornbread. Uh, <laughs> cornbread from play action is wealth as well. Yo, uh, I'm not so gonna lie, this food him. is fire, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it is really good, man. Uh, and, and I don't want to hear no fat jokes neither. He ate his food before I did. Hey, y'all can say him about me <laughs> man, all day. Um, like, yo. One, one thing right now uh, that we don't know about these Ravens. Uh, is how they're going to perform, uh, both offense and defense. And, and, I mean, you could call that a mystery right now because we just don't know. Yeah. And, I mean, that's also the name of this drink from Play Action Soul Food. It's a mystery drink, and it's really, 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 
really good. I don't know what it is because it's a mystery, but it's really, really good. So we're hoping that the Ravens, their offense and defense, their entire team turns out the same way as their drink. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it's going to be, but it ends up being great. Um, and when you think about the defense, um, man, you, you, you brought up Roquan Smith, now him having a full off season. Yes. Um, with Patrick Queen, we'll see if he's here. I, I would love for him to stay. Uh, even though they declined his fifth-year option, you talked about just the, the, the motivation that he could possibly be playing with um, just to prove to the Ravens or prove to whoever the next team could be, like, hey, I'm, I'm one of them, man. I'm one of them, and I deserve to get my bread. I can play. Y'all know I could ball out, and, and I'm going to show you. Um, now, how are you feeling about uh, the Ravens' pass rush? Because I think that's um, that's a big question mark right now. <laughs> okay, I think, you, <laughs> I think you answered the question already. Bro. Oh, listen, bro, I'm going to be real with you. Look, hope for the best, plan for the worst. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, I, I we're, we're looking at it from a standpoint of saying we're hoping some guys – come back healthy right right and we're hoping that the new acquisitions can play and be successful from jump mm -hmm. but there's a big hole that's missing okay Calais Campbell was the anchor of that line I don't care what anybody says right you can argue with somebody else he was an anchor so I so can the ship still sail and go where it needs to go you know what I'm saying if that anchor is not there and the pass rush is Justin Houston coming back? No, Wasn't he our yet. sack leader? Yeah, nine and a half of them. You, you get our coming? How did he didn't get ten? Mm. How he didn't get ten? He was tired too. L listen, hold up. Before we go any closer, right? Before we go any further, yeah. Can you show them one of the wings, bro? Cause y'all, cause here's the thing. Y'all be thinking I'm tripping, right? Can you show them your wing, bro? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, before we get into that. Um, we're talking about pass rush, but also got concerns for uh, the secondary. Because um, one of the terms oh. that people will call a bad secondary, a bad corner, uh, they say it's baked chicken. Um, and even though this is not baked chicken, this is chicken tenders, they're fried, uh, we don't want our secondary to turn in like these. These are really good, but we don't want nobody on our secondary getting fried. No. Uh, so hopefully that goes down. But yes, these are the chicken tenders with fries. That are really, really good. And now, oh, oh, wait, you see this? That, that's like that's like the appetizer, man. bro. Bro, the, look the, at this thing. The the, the smothered turkey wings. I don't want to turn. I, see, I'm already spilling already. I'm about to spill it all over my phone. But hopefully, y'all can see that good. But the smothered turkey wings, bro, with lima beans and collard greens. It's the size of my face. And rice too, man. <laughs> Yo. Like, <laughs> They, they, they hooked it up, man. They, they, they really Ooh. did. So, so, again, shout out to Play Action. Uh, they, they, they came through in a major way. Man. How you get a turkey with that big, bro? I <laughs> <laughs> gave it the, the play. Yeah, oh. I, I don't know where, they, where these turkeys oh, came from, bro. but they good, man. Oh, God. <laughs> Arnold so. Schwarzenegger for turkey. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I love it though, man. Oh, bro, listen, I, listen, I know y'all watching, but we're having fun being out here, man. Oh my God, we came out, you know, we teamed up on this, and they just totally ingratiated us from the time we came in here. Great service, great food. Mm -hmm. If the food was not good, trust me, as a member of some of the bigger race of human beings, I would tell you it's not good. The food melts in your mouth, bro. Yeah. Let, hold up. Just so y'all understand that I'm not joking, cause some we already ate some of the food. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, it's out of there, man. And <laughs> look at that big wing right there. I couldn't even eat all of it, bro. One plate can feed two people. It's a <laughs> sin, bro. Man, shout outs to Play Action. Great people, great service. Um, Lamar, man, you got something here, man. You need to open one in Maryland, bro. You you might need to open one in Vegas too, <laughs> man. But nah, but for real, you know, being out here, having fun, talking sports, loving it with yeah. my man Ing, bro. Thanks for being out here, by the way. I mean, we live out here, so ain't no problem, man. Yeah, we, lucky we, for him. We, we three hours it. I had to drive to get three mm. hours. It's, it's worth it, though. <laughs> it was worth it. It's it was worth, worth it. it. I can't even lie. It's worth it. It's worth it. Like, worth opportunities it. like this don't just happen every day, man. So yeah, man. Fun, shout, man. Shout, shout out to you for being dedicated like that to make that little drive down, man. Yeah, man. Don't worry. So I'm singing right Oh, there. Happy Day all the way. As long as I'm thinking about them Ravens and what this offense can be. Mm -hmm. Oh, Happy Day. I'm <laughs> Bro, you think I hit that note, too. 
You, oh, you, we, I know you watch Sister Act. I hit that note. <laughs> Oh, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll hit that note too. When Jesus. Yeah, I'll hit it. Don't play with me. I'm th- listen, man. It's, man. I- I'll say this, though. The Ravens have done something that they haven't done in a long time since they've drafted Lamar. And they've captured the imagination of the entire fan base in, it, in, it, in its entirety. Even people, Doom Patrol, we all have names for, you know, Doom Patrol, Purple Patrol, you know, the people that fall in between. The imagination of the average Raven fan is off the charts right now because people are just imagining what this team could be. And especially when it was announced that he had signed, you know, Mr. Jackson, the record contract and got that out of the way. You know what I mean? It just let us further know like, oh my God, he's here and he's not going nowhere. And you gave him OBJ, and now you got Zay Flowers, and you still got Bateman, and you got Mark Andrews, and you got Likely, and you got Dobbins, yeah, like and you got Gus, and you got Ronnie. Let me tell you something right now. I am. It, it, it's 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 almost unfair with the feeling how we're feeling as a fan base because as long as that imagination is running wild, it's hard not to get swept away by it, bro. No, it's, it's hard not to. It's fair. Cause we've been waiting on this for a while. <laughs> He's like, it's so fair. It, it's it's fair, man. A lot of this stuff that um, shout that, out to EDC, that, 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 yeah. Done. Shout out to him. Uh, a lot of the stuff that that they doing now, um, in my opinion, done. yeah, it should have been, been done years ago. Uh, but we are glad that they are taking the this route, these steps, <laughs> mm-hmm. especially because it's like the way that they have been doing things, just really playing it very very safe. It's like. All right, they've been doing that for for a while. They've been doing that for years, but had it worked? Did it work? No, it no. hasn't. Nah. So why not step out there, try something different, shake it up? I can't even say shake it up a little bit. Shake it up a lot like they did, and really put yourself out there. Put yourself out there uh, and go for it. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad they finally doing that. Uh, so let's see how it goes. They accepted void years finally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and I know that that scared a lot of people. They like no. void years. No, don't do void. Years. No, do the void years. Do the man. void years. Like, come on, man. What is like, the future without the present? Mm. Like, seriously. Like, if you if you're always thinking about the future, mm. the present will pass you by. And it has. It and had. It, it had. It almost fully had. Mm. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, and I think that mindset. That's why I said that the Ravens are getting out of their own way. Yeah. They're rectifying and they're fixing what needs to be rectified and fixed. And us as a fan base are related by it because we've been screaming from the top of our lungs for them to do this for years. And yeah. they're finally doing it. Mm-hmm. So that's why everybody's so elated. I'm Look, man, I, this week has been like Christmas. Could you imagine something like this would happen during Christmas? We wouldn't even need presents. This would have been the perfect present underneath the tree. This is, I mean, think of, uh, as soon, what, what were you doing? When you heard that uh, the news came through, it was like, oh, oh, uh, the, the Ravens just got OBJ. And later on, a couple weeks later, the Ravens just uh, signed Lamar Jackson. What was I doing when they signed Odell Beckham? Hmm. You know, I really don't even remember. But whatever I was doing, I was uh, getting home to record that video because I was hyped <laughs> about it. I was happy because I, I just, I really did not think. You know what, as a matter of fact, I think I was home already because... Actually, yeah, yeah, okay, I remember now, because that same morning, okay, I had actually already recorded a video, and I talked about how I just, I thought the, the, the chances of them signing Odell Beckham Jr. were not likely. <laughs> Literally that, that same morning, okay, I, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you asked, because it, it, it's, it's bringing it up to my memory, because I, I just, I did not see it happening at all. It made a the couple first hours later, useless. boom, yeah, and I, you know what, I know some people, what, what what do you say if you uh if you're loud and wrong then what be what did you say if you're loud and wrong then your apology better be equally as loud oh there we go so that was I was happy to be loud and wrong I was very happy to be <laughs> loud and wrong about that I was happy to be loud and wrong about that I was happy to be loud and wrong about them re-signing Lamar Jackson because y'all remember earlier this off season it just I didn't think it was gonna happen uh, but when they signed Odell Beckham Jr that's when my mind changed on that but still. Um, so I, I'm I'm glad to have been wrong about those two things. Like even um, somebody uh, I think I was seeing in, in another video. Somebody had uh, messaged me, and they were like, "Oh, see, you were wrong about uh, Lamar Jackson." Like 
Uh, happily, uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> great. <laughs> happily wrong. Like, you think I'm gonna get happily. upset about that? No yeah, problem. Hey, bro. I'm glad to be wrong about that. Yeah, like who wants to be right about that? Oh, he's going somewhere else. No one wants to be right about that. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad that 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 worked out um, because that was obviously huge, and, and that could have been a very very big uh, distraction if it going on another season. Um, so I'm glad that that's, that's squared away. We don't have to worry about the ifs, the maybes, the what could be's, the way he could possibly Nothing. end up. That's done. That, that's it. So, Great. yeah, Lamar locked in, man. So with him being locked in, uh, that can help lock the team in. And things could just move forward, man. Bro, you, I, after it happened, I remember watching his draft video again. Oh, Someone yeah. had posted his draft video. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, it's I'm a rev. It's on. Mm -hmm. And I remember um, him asking, you know, Lamar, like, well, what what um, are they going to get? They're going to get everything out of me. They're going to get a Super Bowl out of me. Mm. And you could see, listen, let me tell you something. You can always tell, because y'all not from Florida. Some people are not from Florida, right? I lived here the majority of my life. When you see someone look at you sideways and they bite that bottom lip as a man, either they're about to do something to you or they're pissed off, right? I'm telling you this right now. When he said the words, believe that, when he was biting up, believe that, he meant it. And now we have a revigor uh, uh, an invigorated um, QB. Mm -hmm. We have a new offensive coordinator, mm -hmm. right, who I'm praying to all the heavens above will just call these games and, and just diversify the passing game, uplift the passing game. And we have the weapons that he has. Yeah. I mean, truthfully, honestly speaking, the year he led the league in passing touchdowns, Hollywood was hobbled. Yeah. He was hobbled. Yeah. We're getting Zay. We're getting Bait. We're getting all these guys. Bro, I really think the Scott, with, with this team, as constructed right now, and mind you, I do want Marcus Peters back. I'm seeing if we get him back. Wouldn't the, have no Super, with that. the Super Bowl, it could really be a reality for us, man. It could be. It really could be, and that that would be really nice too. If uh, obviously, I mean, winning the Super Bowl is the, the best. Um, I'm gonna be there. That would be great. I don't know, I don't know if I would be there. I I'll would drop like in to. with a parachute. Oh, okay. I'm gonna... And you would drop out in handcuffs too. <laughs> so, but yeah. Like freeze! I'm like no. Nah! But uh, yeah, I mean that's that's obviously yeah. the ultimate goal. Um, <sighs> but this off season is really like seemed like. The Ravens are trying to obtain that goal. Because yeah. in, in past off seasons, it seemed like they're like, oh, okay, if some if a Super Bowl happens, okay, cool. But this off season, again, they've been stepping out, like you mentioned, they're stepping out of their comfort zone. Yes. So it seems like they're really going after. It. Um, you, you know, take it a step further. They're embracing expectation. Mm -hmm. Expectation, bro. A lot of times, and, and, and look, y'all watching this, you tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. The Ravens have ingratiated, have built, have ingrained the idea of being the underdog into everything that we do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Mm -hmm. We we get it out of the mud. Yeah. We get it. We, you don't see us coming. You get where I'm coming from? And now with them doing what they're doing now, it's the, the yellow signals, all the bright lights are flashing over Baltimore. This mm -hmm. is not the way the Baltimore Ravens usually like to come at people. They like to be the underdog, okay? Mm -hmm. They don't like to be the hunter. They like to be the hunter. But when they made these moves, I say this right now, Ing, they're being hunted now. Because expectation is now been placed at the foot of one named John Arbaugh. Because there's because just like how some people say there's no, we're hoping that these players pan out, right. right? We're hoping everybody pans out, everyone can stay healthy. But here's the kicker: if these players play well, and and they're panning out, and and injuries aren't happening, what's going to be the excuse for Mr. Harbaugh if we don't get the job done? Because you know it's going to fall at his feet. Hmm. Hmm. That's a. Uh Really, really good point. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you got your quarterback. Yeah. You yeah. Got, you got some weapons now. Um, and it obviously all just depends. It's not a uh, a black and white type of True. thing. It's not a. True. It all just depends on how everything comes together, uh, and hopefully doesn't fall apart. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be something worth watching. Um, I mean, as it always is, because coaching plays a big role uh, in everything. Obviously, everything starts at the top uh, with 
the ownership, uh, GM, coaching, and it trickles down to the players too as far as execution and everything. So hopefully this year the message is from the top like, hey, we want to win. So yeah. it's the Super Bowl. Not we just want to win 10 games, 11 games. No, 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 no. We want to win the Super Bowl. Because um, if that's the message that's being conveyed from the top, it has to start at the top yeah. uh, and then go down. Then it'll just it, it can make the team that much better. If, listen, man, I'm just praying for the best. I'm just praying for the best because, man, this is the year. This is the year. This is the year for them to get it done. Mm -hmm. And with everything that has – Lamar's going to have the most weapons of his career. This might be the best offensive unit Harbaugh's ever had at his disposal during his tenure as a Baltimore Raven coach. Munkin already having success at Georgia, coming in with these type of weapons. Come on now, man. Listen, this is the year, man. This is the year. I, 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 want, I want to see eight and those guys holding that Lombardi and gritting and, and grinning at every person that was a naysayer. I, I, listen, man, that's all I want to see. Yeah. I want to see it, man. I want to see it. Yeah, that, that, that would be lovely, man. That yeah, would be man. Uh, obviously the perfect way to a season, <laughs> to end the season, to yeah. end the football season. To head into the off season, as like, like imagine that feeling. Huh? It's, it's been a long time. It's since 2013. Yeah. Um, that was the last year that we went into the off season. Like, oh, man, like. They even just won the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah it, it felt good. So, and what I tell people, like, man, Ravens win the Super Bowl, I'm good for like five years, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm straight, man. Like, cause they oh. won it. Like, uh, well, I mean, it would be even better if they could be like, like the Chiefs or even the, the Patriots and stuff would be spoiled. Them two Super Bowls within four years, four or five years. But um, if Zay turns into it, they can be. If Zay turns into what you and a lot of people think he is, even what I'm hoping he could be, mm -hmm. they could be, bro. This could be the the, the making. We could literally be watching the making of a dynasty. And that in it itself should, should frighten all the other NFL teams. Because then what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Mm. Come on now, man. And then people might come here just to win one for cheap. We might end up getting some guys that are, you know are still superstars, but on the downside of their career, uh, that really want that ring. So, you know how it goes. So that Patriot Chiefs sort of syndrome. Ooh. That that would be something, because um, I know guys have done that in the past on defense, uh, but would they imagine flip that it? on offense? Yeah. that's what I'm saying. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, bro, it got me feeling light. Oh. oh, bro. So yeah, that 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 would, that would be different, man. That would be uh Yeah man. That would be different. Something yeah. that we definitely not used to. But again, all of the stuff that's been going on we ain't used to, but we will gladly uh take it. Very much so. So anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all coming through. Whether you watch <laughs> watching this on my channel, you watching it on his channel, Engraving Viz or Nitro, the the, the Wonderkin show. We appreciate all of y'all. Yes. Um, thank you, all of y'all. Anybody that's not subscribed to the Wonderkin show, just do it ASAP. Get, just Hit click the subscribe like button. button. Hit the like button, too. Yeah, oh, click the like button, too, man. That's important. Same thing for him, too. Shout out to Ng. Bro, thanks for being out here, bro. No. Thanks for being out here, bro. Of course, bro. man. Ain't nothing, man. Yeah, bro. So, appreciate oh. y'all watching. Thank you for watching. And we out, man. <laughs> and y'all... No, my slogan. Peace. And we are out of here. Yeah. Challenging Madden. Ha. Let's go. Make him rage quit. Exit out the door. Exit out the